Hi, I'm Christopher, and this is a Final Cut Pro 10 for a beginner series that I am starting. This will be the first episode. In this particular episode, I'm going to teach you about libraries, about events, and about projects. I will show you how to create a new library on an internal or an external drive. I will show you how to open a library that you've previously made, open it up into Final Cut Pro 10. I will show you how to create new events. I will show you how to import media into your projects. I will show you how to navigate between the different libraries and teach you the differences of the libraries, the events, and the projects. So to get started with, let me break down what a library, what an event, and what a project is. So think about a physical library, not, not anything to do with Final Cut Pro, but an actual building, like a library. Like you go to this library, and inside that library, there are shelves. And on those shelves, there are books. And the easiest way to describe library, event, and projects in Final Cut Pro is to think of a real library. The real library is the actual libraries in Final Cut Pro 10. Your events are going to be the shelves that hold the books, and the books are going to be the projects. So each one of those is layered onto another one. So you have libraries, events, and then you have your projects. So over here on the left side in Final Cut Pro in this panel here, so I have some libraries right here. I'll just tap on each one to show you. So right here I have this Kuichi Balloon Festival Library. Now if I click the drop down right here, you'll see I have an event. This event is called Kuichi Balloon Festival. I can open that and inside this I have folders. And inside those folders are my media. So for this demonstration purpose, I'm going to click on the Final Cut Pro for beginners. Final Cut Pro 10 for beginners. Open this up, you'll see it has some smart collections, and then I have a few events in here that I've already created. Now, when you create a new event, by default, Final Cut Pro will put today's date. So whatever today's date is, when you're creating an event, it'll use that date. So I created this one a minute ago, and you, as you can see, April 16, 2017, which is today's date. It also has smart collections right here. And I'll get into smart collections probably in the next video. So I'm not going to do that for this one, but I'm just showing you what it creates, what Final Cut Pro 10 creates. So if you want to create a new library, not an event, not a project, a new library. And what I mean by library, that's where all your data, all your media, all your projects that you're working on are going to be stored inside that library. So to do this, you will simply click File, click on New, and then you're going to come over here to Library. We'll click Library. You're going to get this little pop-up asking you where do you want to create this library. You're going to scroll down here on the Finder, and you could pick your internal drive. I have some externals right here created already. So for this demonstration, I'm just going to tap on this particular external. You can rename it right here. So I'm just going to type demo, oops, demo. And then I can choose, I can either put it inside a folder or I can put it in the main directory of my external drive, which is what I'm going to do. I can also apply a tag to it and I'll teach you a little bit about the tag in a minute. But for this, I'm just going to go ahead and select the YouTube tag and then I'll hit save. Now my demo is up here, as you can see on the left side and it has the smart collection as well as the date like I mentioned a second ago. Now inside this, if I want to create another event instead of one with the date, I can come up here to File, New, and click on Event. And then right here I can rename it and for this one I'm going to put Demo Event. And then I have a library option. I can choose a different library if I don't want to create it in the demo one. I can also create a new project. I don't want to do that. I want to create my own project. I don't want Final Cut Pro to create a new one, but you can leave it if you choose to. This is um, subjective. If you want to create it, let it create it. If not, just hit OK. But if you do create the new project, make sure you go ahead and set up like your video settings as far as 4K, 5K, whatever, uh, your resolution, your frame rate, your rendering mode. I like to keep it at Apple ProRes 422. Uh, then your audio, you, know, you have stereo, surround, and then your sample rate. I leave those at default, which is 48, and then the I leave it in stereo. Uh, and then you can just tap OK. Now inside my demo event, I click that. And as you can see, I have this untitled project that it created. I can go ahead and rename this. So I will just put demo. Whoops. I'm trying to do this 100. Demo project. And then just tap enter, and it's done. And click on this. Now, if I want to import media into this project, I can either tap this down arrow right here, or I can go to File, Import, and then tap Media. 
And when I do that, open up my media browser here. Now you can navigate if you want to select a different drive. So I have my internal drive right here, this Macintosh HD. I have a couple of external drives, one that I use on my iMac, one that I use for my MacBook Pro, and then I have another external drive right here. I could select that as well. And also you can navigate right here on this folder menu. So to get back to the main directory of this FCPX drive, I go ahead and click that. And then I have all this other footage right here I can choose from. You know, I can come down here, videos to edit, and then I have this balloon one. I can double tap it, and then I have some footage here, and I can see exactly what it is that I am importing and choose which footage that I want to import. I can choose all three of them, or I could just choose, say, these two. So the top and bottom, so what I'll do is I'll hold command, and I'll click on the bottom here, and I have just those two. Or if I want to select all of them, I just tap on the top, hold shift, and then click on the bottom, and then all three are selected. You can add it to an existing event, so right here, or I could choose another event, but for demonstration, I'm gonna leave it in the demo. I could also create a new event, which I don't wanna do. Now, if I do create a new event, it'll ask me which library to create it in. You know, I can go ahead and pick, I'll just show you really quick, demo, I have all my different library options up there to choose from, so I'm gonna leave it at demo, and I'm just gonna add to an existing event, files, now this is really important right here. Do you want to uh, copy your files to your library or do you want to leave files in place? Now if you are editing off of your internal drive and you have all your media on an external drive, you may want to choose to leave it in place. If it's on like a physical hard disk, not like an SD card, it's okay to go ahead and edit it off that. I would never edit off of an SD card. What I do, my process is I import the footage from the SD card to an external drive. I always leave my files in place because I don't want my libraries to get bloated. So wherever I have my media imported to, I will leave them there as long as the drive is fast enough. I recommend a Thunderbolt SSD drive if you're editing or if your Mac supports Thunderbolt. Um, especially if you have like a newer MacBook Pro, the Thunderbolt 3 is awesome. Definitely just leave them in place so you're not going to bloat your library. You know, especially if you are editing off of your internal drive, which as your Final Cut Pro library uh, gets bigger, your storage uh, capacity is going to get smaller because these files can get very big. Now, you can import keywords. If you'll remember a minute ago, I used the YouTube tag. Uh, you can do from folders. So I'm not going to get into the audio rolls or the transcoding. And then you have analyze and fix. Now this is drone footage, so it is video only. There is no audio. But what I like to do when I have outdoor shots like this, I like to allow Final Cut Pro 10 to go ahead and analyze the video to balance the color. Of course, I'll still do my own color correction, but sometimes when, I'm, when it's a short clip and it's nothing that really is important, just something maybe I'm sharing to Twitter or maybe to Facebook or YouTube or something, something I don't really care too much about color correcting, I'll just let Final Cut Pro 10 do it and then I'll ride out with that. And you can do the same thing with audio. And what this will do, it will try to level out audios. So if it gets real high or you have something real low, it'll try to level that audio out for you. It does a pretty good job. It's not the best. Of course, I prefer to edit my own audio. So I'll go ahead and tap import selected so now if we come up here to clips I can click on that drop down and you'll see all my imported footage right here and if I click on projects you will see my demo project now how the projects work if you have a library with 10 projects you can go ahead and double tap on it and it will load all the resources that you use for this particular project so if you want to import a library that you previously created but you do not see it loaded into Final Cut Pro 10 Simply come down here to your finder, click on it, and then open up the location of your saved library. I have some in movies right here. So I will go with this Sophia YouTube FCP bundle. I'll double tap it. And as you can see, all the clips are missing because I've deleted them. But I'm just showing you how to open up that particular library that you have previously created. So this is libraries, events, and projects. So if you have any questions or comments or there's something you don't understand, feel free to leave a comment below. So I hope you find this helpful in getting started with Final Cut Pro 10. I'll also leave a link to the playlist for Final Cut Pro 10. I will have all the videos for this beginner series marked like episode one, episode two, three, four, so you can follow along. Just check the description for each of these videos so you can follow in order. The next video, I'm gonna show you how to do some basic editing. All right, thank you for watching. Have a great day.